Wrong and. It has been a very long day. And it's our busy season starting up. So I've been working my ass off. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the job. I love the work. But I am tired. <laughs> okay. Tired. My legs hurt. My back hurts. Everything hurts. And I'm sitting there like, do I even want to even shoot this video tonight? Because I'm like, what? I got to work in the morning. Then I was like, you know, would this be a great excuse to get drunk? So fuck it. We ball. <coughs> sure, put on a lot of makeup just to drink some beers. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's your dandy, Candy, and it's the final pumpkin beer video. That's right. It's the final pumpkin. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Oh my God, I can't do that. This thing is way too top heavy. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the final pumpkin beer video that we're doing in this uh, series of trying pumpkin beers obviously. And uh, for this last video, we're going to be doing nine beers. That's the last nine that I could find on the store shelves. Uh, they're pretty barren at this point because pumpkin season's just about over. So let's go ahead and kick it off with a bang. And I just want to go ahead and say that because we're doing nine beers, uh, we're going to be doing this video in two segments. We're going to be doing five beers tonight and then four beers tomorrow or on, on our next day off. Uh, so that's not going to mean anything to you watching the video because it's going to be mixed together, obviously, but just a you know, heads up in case you're wondering halfway through why the background looks a little different and why my makeup may or may not look better. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get through all the usual things that we put in the beginning of these videos. I am by no means a beer expert, a beer sommelier, or anything of that nature. I am just a clown on the internet who happens to like pumpkin beers. And with that out of the way, let's get pumped. For our first beer of the night, we are going with a classic Shipyard Pumpkin Head. This is 4.5% alcohol by volume, brewed by Shipyard Brewing Company in Portland, Maine. And yeah, let's go ahead and pop this top. Just a heads up, these also come in cans, too. <laughs> the little skeleton gloves are a heck of a lot slipperier than my usual, like, purple satin gloves that we wear, but I saw these at the store and I had to get them. Okay, so, shipyard, pumpkin head. Very nice golden color. And totally see right through it. Very, very bubbly. Very nice. Sniff wise, let's give it a sniff. Definitely getting the notes of the pumpkin in there, as well as a little spice, not too much on the spice notes. Uh, definitely getting the beer in there, so it's it's got a good mix of the beer to pumpkin ratio as far as that goes. Let's give it a taste. It's very nice. It's not overpowering with the pumpkin or the beer. It's a good mix. Uh, it's very light on the stomach, not light beer. I don't want to say light beer because I know that light beer means diet beer or whatever that means. That's not what I mean. I mean like light in. It's not super heavy on your gut when you're drinking this. This is a very, um, yeah, if that makes sense to you. It, it, it's very nice. Good pumpkin notes in there. It's not super heavy on the gut. And it's, it's, it's got a good blend of both. This is a very popular uh, beer and actually a very requested beer, heavily requested beer around here. So I could totally see why. It's not bad. I mean, it, at 4.5%, you're going to be able to have quite a few of these throughout the evening if you wanted to have them. So it's a good safe beer. Definitely for sure, this is a pretty solid entry into the pumpkin patch. Let's go ahead and finish this off. It's 
very nice. It's not super pumpkin-y, but it's got that pumpkin in there. Very nice. Let's go on to our second one. This one here is the Kentucky Pumpkin Barrel Ale. It is aged in bourbon barrels, ooh, handmade, ooh, ooh, enjoy cold. Oh, no, it's not really it. I'm gonna get all excited about spiced ale with pumpkin aged in oak barrel or in oak bourbon barrels. Contains 10% alcohol by volume. So this is gonna be a slow sipper right here. All right, let's go ahead and pop this top. So here we go. It's got a nice amberish orange tone to it. Little hints of brown in there. Bubbles in it. Not as much as the shipyard. Less bubbly than that. You can see pretty well through it. It's it's got a pretty pretty translucent uh, tone to it. I'm trying to sound fancy. Very nice looking color. Reminds you of pumpkins when you look at them. Smell wise. Got hints of pumpkin in there, hints of that bourbon barrel in there. It's got a nice mellow sweet smell to it. Not super sweet, just a little sweet. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, honey, that barrel. Oh, that bourbon barrel. Baby, 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 that bourbon barrel. Oh my goodness. Mm. That is delightful. 10% alcohol by volume. Got that nice note of the bourbon in there with a little hint of pumpkin in there as well. Mm. Scrumptious. Absolutely scrumptious. If you can find this in the store, I would absolutely recommend getting this. It's gonna be a very nice beer. 10.5, that's a serious sipper. You don't wanna be chugging these bad. Very nice zipper. Let's go ahead and finish this off real quick. Mm, it's like sex in your mouth. My goodness. Mm, 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 mm. That is so damn good. Feels like a shame trying to rush through this, because honestly, this would be a nice, nice sipping beer after a long ass day full of a bunch of bullshit where you just want to relax, have something that'll just get you there. This is a punchy ticket. Let's go ahead and finish this off. <sighs> oh my goodness. I always have been quite a, quite fond of leather and fake leather. <laughs> Makes you feel all sleek and tight, like a cat. Man. Now, our third entry of the night is the New Holland Brewing Company Ichabod Pumpkin Ale. This is 4.5% alcohol by volume. It is brewed and canned in Holland, Michigan for Gazelic times handcrafted in small batches. Was it going to tell me how lucky I am like the other one did? Brewed with real pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This should be nice. Let's go ahead and pop this on. So color wise, it's a light amber. Not bad. Good color. It's nice and, nice and pretty. Little hint of orange in there. Not super bubbly. It was when you first poured it, but it's not super bubbly now. That's nice. Smell wise. I think I'm getting hints of that nutmeg and the pumpkin in there. Not a lot of the cinnamon. But 
it's, it's not super noticeable. Just a hint of that nutmeg, hint of that pumpkin. Let's go ahead and give it a seal. I'm aerating. I'm not really picking up the cinnamon. It, it, it's it's not super flavorful, which is okay. But it's got a good taste to it. It's got a nice little hint of pumpkin in there. A little hint of the nutmeg in there. Uh, the cinnamon, I'm not really picking up too much. And that's okay. That's fine. It's a pretty good beer. I would say if you're looking for a safe beer, this right here is a pretty solid safe beer. Although I would recommend the shipyard before it is. But this is not a bad beer either. These are always tricky because pretty much all the beers are good except for a couple so far that we tried. Let's go ahead and give it another taste right Okay, there's a little hint of that cinnamon on the back end, but it's not like a like a super cinnamon cinnamon. It's like a subtle cinnamon. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. This is pretty good. I would recommend this one for sure, especially if you're looking for a safe beer and it's not gonna be super strong. Not bad. 4.5% ABV. You could have this at a party, enjoy your night. It's pretty good. Let's finish it off. And it's not bad. And definitely, I, I would absolutely have this at a party or, or a social event or something like that where you need to bring something pumpkin beer, but you're not sure. Think about it. Pretty good. All right, let's move on to our next one. I know you may be asking yourself, Candy, why aren't you doing the wheel this time? And that's because choice is an illusion. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the next one. This one here is by Mud Shark Brewery. It is the Peaceful Pumpkin. Peaceful Pumpkin Pumpkin Ale. Ingredients, barley, hops, yeast, allspice, caraway. Apparently me ground like zool. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, coriander, and water. I'm so glad they kept it hydrated. And what's this? 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. Let's go ahead and pop this open. My head game is a bit off. Whatever. Fuck it. All right. Color wise, it's got a good door, uh, medium amber. Medium amber. It's very amberous. Uh, more brown than orange, but very nice. Very nice color. And totally see through it. That's totally good. A little effervescent at the top. Very, very heady. Oh, that is a spicy note on that nose. It is very spicy, very nice. I'll definitely pick them up. Yes, yes. Mmm, that just smells nutritious and delicious. Let's go ahead and give this a sip. Mmm. Mm -mm. mm. 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 Okay. 
It's not bad. It's pretty decent. It's got kind of a metallic tone to it though, which kind of kind of a metally taste on the Mmm. It's, it's not bad. The initial hit that I took, I think I took a little too much in all at once. That's why I got kind of that metally taste. But yeah, it's not bad on the sip. You definitely get the notes of, of, of the spices in there. A little hint of that coriander, a hint of that allspice, a little bit of that cinnamon. It's probably where I got that metal from. Cinnamon does kind of have a little metal tone to it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not that bad. It's got a lovely, lovely bouquet to it. Flavor-wise, it, 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 hmm. it's not, it, you know, it, the, it smells a little better than it tastes, but it tastes pretty good. I'll give it that. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I know it, it, that metal. Like, that could be a billion things. I'm not really picking it up anymore. Hmm. It's not bad. It's pretty good. You get the notes of the, of the spices in there. Mostly the allspice, the coriander, the hint of the cinnamon, a little pumpkin in there. Got a good ABV to it for a low low ABV beer. It's like five something percent, five point two or something like that. I ain't gonna look at the can. <laughs> you, you want me to read? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not bad. I would say that if you were looking for something for a party, this would definitely be a nice one. Would it be the first thing I go to? Not really, but it's not bad. It wouldn't be at the back of the fridge for sure. Hanging out with the Ace Pumpkin Zesty Carrots. Let's go ahead and finish this out. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I would say it wouldn't be my go to. But it's not bad. It's a pretty decent beer, a good safe beer, if you will. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed with it, I don't think. But that, that. Try to figure out where that metal tone came from. I had like a metal taste when I was drinking it. I'm trying to figure out where that came from. Was that the vats? Is that the barley and the hops messing around with the notes and spices? Was that the cinnamon? Is it just maybe my hat's on too tight? I have no idea. But yeah, it's not bad. Wouldn't be my, my go-to, but hey, you're not gonna be disappointed if you pick it up on the shelves one second. I hope. Anyway, on to our next beer. Now, our next beer and the final beer that we're gonna be drinking for the first part of this video, uh, when for the first part of this video is Midnight Snack by Abomination Brewing Company. These are the same people who made the Forbidden Pumpkin that we tried previously. This one here is a stout with cheesecake, vanilla beans, cacao nibs, and pumpkin spices. It is 14% alcohol by volume, and this comes as a pint can. Now, I really did like that Forbidden Pumpkin. It's very nice, very lovely. So I can't wait to try this one as well, because these people really know how to do a beer, and it's pretty solid. Also, I love the artwork that they have on this. We're going to have a static image of it up here so you can check it out as well, or we probably already did. Now, the, the artwork is just absolutely stunning to this. Uh, same thing with Fat Orange Cat. Um, whoever does the artwork for y'all, love your stuff. Absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and pop this can. Oh, my word. Oh, my 
Look. Look at that. Oh my. Stars and garters. Look at that thing, honey. It's like John Cena. I can't see shit. Oh my goodness. It is very dark. Very dark brown. Practically black. Just like a black coffee bean. Goodness gracious. That is a very dark opaque mirror right there. Which is what I was expecting with it being a sale. Let's go ahead and give it a sip. Sip. What's a sip? Let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Mmm. Honey, it's like smelling a chocolate bar. It smells so cocoa-y, so chocolatey. Mmm. Now I do love me some chocolate. So let's go ahead and give this a sip. ASMR, ASMR. Mm. Oh, God damn, that is good. Ooh. Honey. Mm. Damn. Motherfucker, that is good as shit. Mm, God damn. Oh, you get the notes of the vanilla in there. A little, 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 little hint of that pumpkin spice in there. Mm, 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 mm. But the best part is you get all that, that, that thick, rich, dark ass fucking chocolate notes in there. Oh, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> it's the life. This is my absolute recommend right here. It's delicious. Totally worth every penny. I'm going to finish this off now. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Abomination. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Well, I'm still going to sip on this. But... So far, of the nine beers that we're trying in this video, of these five, this would be my top number one right here. Yes, yes. The next one up would be that, uh, the Kentucky uh, Bourbon Barrel. Very delightful. Very delicious. Next up would be Shipyard. Classic go-to right there. Very popular one out here. Followed up with... Ichabod, uh, Ichabod, that would be the next one I'd go with. That's a pretty decent safe beer. It's not super strong in the notes, but it's pretty, pretty refreshing. And and the Mud Shark for last, because I'm not sure where that metallic tone is coming from, and I'm not sure if it's the beer itself, but none of the other beers have that metallic tone to it. So, that's the only part that gets me nervous. It's got a nice bouquet, it's got a nice nose, but honestly, flavor-wise, yeah, it's an okay safe beer. But I wouldn't make it my recommended go-to safe beer. That would be the Shipyard and the Ichabod so far. Let's go ahead and finish this off real quick. And I'll see y'all in the next part in a couple of days. Of course, I ain't gonna mean shit to y'all because y'all watching it merge together. But you know what I'm saying. I'll see y'all in like a day or two. We're going to finish this off. You know what I'm saying. We're doing a, a, a drinking transition time. See, I told you, look at that seamless transition. You probably can't even tell it. It's a totally different day. <laughs> okay, well, let's get on to our final four beers of this video and of this series. Let's go ahead and crack them on open. First one that that's going to be the Pumpkin Pumpkin Lager by Lakefront Brewery. It is a lager brewed with real pumpkin, cinnamon, allspice, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and mace. They put pepper spray in this shit. That'll not be spicy. Uh, let's see here. 6.1% alcohol by volume. Let's go ahead and pop this hole. Someone left the cake out in the rain. I don't think I can take it. it took nine months to bake it. I don't have the recipe anymore. I was watching Bill Juice too the other day. Okay, so 
Very effervescent. A lot of bubbles. Very bubbly. Look at bubbly baby. Very, very effervescent. Nice orangey amber tone to it. Very lovely. Very golden. Hmm. See, smell wise. Get hints of that allspice and the pumpkin in there. A little bit of that cinnamon in there too. Not bad. Let's go ahead and give it a sip. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a very tasty beer right there. I would say. As much as I like the shipyard from earlier, this I would absolutely recommend over the shipyard. I know, it's crazy. I believe this one is made in Wisconsin, too. Let me double check on that. This one's coming out of Milwaukee, which is, you know, home of Red Letter Media. So it's pretty good. About half in the bag there. Let's go ahead and finish this off a little bit. Very solid pumpkin notes. Nice little bit of spice in there. Good balance between the beer and the pumpkin ratio. This is definitely a recommended safe one. I would totally get this. This would be one of the ones I grab out the out the fridge first. Pretty solid. Good party beer. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely lovely. Let's go ahead and try on to our next one. I decided to put my glasses back on because honestly, after looking over the previous footage, I, I, the look just doesn't work without the glasses. I've worn them for so long, I might as well just keep wearing them. Even though I can't see shit without them on. Okay. Alright, next part. This one here is by the Grand Canyon Brewing Company. It is called Pumpkin Springs. It says on the top of it, live curiously, live adventurously. Oh, goodness. It is a spiced porter ale brewed with pumpkin, fresh ginger, and spices. 8% alcohol by volume. Let's go ahead and crack this up. Color wise, opaque, nice dark brown with some orange notes in there at the bottom. Very lovely. A little effervescent. Let's give it a sniff. Definitely picking up the notes on that porter. It's a very saucy smelling porter. A little hint of that spice. Not a lot of strong pumpkin notes in the snow in the nose though. Let's go ahead and give it a sip. Maybe the pumpkin notes are in there. Well, we definitely get the notes of that porter, for sure. Kind of tastes the pumpkin a little bit. It's not super powerful in there. Mostly the porter. It's got some good spice notes to it. Not really picking up the pumpkin, though. A little spice, picking up the spice. But definitely not the pumpkin. Is it a good beer? Sure. But does it meet the requirements that we need for it to be a good pumpkin beer? Not so much. I probably wouldn't recommend this one if you're looking for something pumpkin-y. But if you're looking for something that's nice and refreshing, maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know if I'd recommend it as a pumpkin beer because you just can't really taste the pumpkin in there. Okay, well, let's get on to our next one. This one here is the Pumpkin Imperial Ale by Lakefront Brewing Company, who we just tried uh, one, of, one of their other beers, the, uh, the, the Pumpkin Lager. This one is 
uh, 11.59% alcohol by volume. I love how they put it on the bottom of the can. Because that, that, that's a great place to put your ABV right there at the bottom of the can when people are trying to drink that shit. <laughs> it is ale with pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice, and vanilla aged in brandy barrels. Ooh. Now we already tried a bourbon barrel earlier. So now we're going to try a brandy barrel one. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Color-wise, it's got a nice dark orange color to it. Translucent, you can see through it. A little bubbly, not too bubbly. Let's give it a sniff. Definitely get kind of a chocolatey note from that, uh, what is that, Imperial? You definitely get a little bit of a chocolatey note in there for some reason. A little bit of the spice in there. Little pumpkin in there. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's got some flavor to it. Ooh. My, my, my. Well, you definitely get that pumpkin in there. You definitely get that, 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 that. It's very flavorful, very rich. Get a nice note of the, the spice in there. Very nice, very lovely. This would be a good sipper beer, absolutely, with that ABV, my goodness. Oh, uh, Lakefront definitely knows what they're doing. This is pretty solid. I would definitely recommend this one for sure. Uh, I would put this right up there uh, below the midnight snack that we tried earlier. This would be my... my mm, no, because it's not as good as the Kentucky. So I would say, so far... Midnight snack would be the top one. The Kentucky Bourbon Barrel, that was solid. That's going to be second one. This right here, third place. Oh my goodness. It's a tight third place though, because that Brandy Barrel is pretty nice. You can hit that note in there. You definitely get a little bit of that Brandy Barrel note in there too. Very delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm 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 mm. Damn. Oh, that is a tasty little number right there. Oh, mm, my goodness. It's a lovely beer. I've had a lot of fun making these videos, by the way. Just kind of rushing them all out. We had to take a week off because we had the AC break down on us, and uh, it's stupid hot out here right now. So, sorry about that. I do really like making these, though. It's a good tasting beer right here. Go ahead and finish this out. Oh. Absolutely delightful. You get that, get that pumpkin, get that spice, little hints of that brandy barrel. Mm. Nice little, little chocolatey notes on the nose. Delicious. Now let's go on to our final beer, the final beer of the of, of, of the pumpkin beer videos. We have tried over, and I, I, my math may be a bit off, but we've tried about I think 34 or 35 beers of this season so far. This is the last one we're going to be trying. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now this one here is by Fat Orange Cat. We've had them previously. This is the Pumpkin Patch Kittens. It is a New England style Indian pale ale with pumpkin, spices, and vanilla. 7% alcohol by volume. Also, look at all them cute ass cats on the can. Oh, there's so many kitties. Oh my god, the kitties. Oh my goodness, I love cats. Alrighty. Well, well, let's go ahead and pop this open, shall we? Okay, color-wise, it is a very, very light, almost yellowish-orange, opaque color. Very pale. Very nice looking, though. Kind of neat looking. Let's give it a sniff.
Definitely get the citric notes of the IPA in there. Not really catching a lot of that pumpkin or the vanilla in there. Because the citric notes just kind of, bam, it's like that grapefruit just boom, right in your nose. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay. There's a hint of vanilla in there. Little pumpkin. Mostly what you get know is that citric note from the IPA. I will say that I like it. I do like Fat Orange Cat. They do make some good ones. I love that coffee one that they made. That was absolutely delightful. This one, I'm not really catching the pumpkin notes. I know. <sighs> and since we are looking for pumpkin beers, I really can't recommend this as a pumpkin beer. But as an IPA, it's decent. Let's give it another sip. It's definitely not one of the stronger beers that we've had of this video for sure. But it's nice. It's got a good taste to it. I would drink this for sure. Wouldn't be at the back of the back of the fridge. I'm just not picking up them pumpkin notes, fat orange cat. What you doing? I mean, I love your beers, but come on now. There ain't no ain't no ain't no pumpkin in this. Just ain't tasting it. Mm-mm. But it's not bad. It's not a bad beer all the same. Go ahead and finish this off. All right, I would say this is a nice beer, but as far as a pumpkin beer, I can't recommend this as a pumpkin beer. It just, you can't taste the pumpkin notes in there. There's a little hint of that vanilla, but the citric notes of the IPA just overpower it all. Still a decent IPA at all the same, but pumpkin beer, not so much. So, okay. Now, Final verdict of the nine beers that we've done for this video. I would say the top contender for sure, in my personal opinion, my personal favorite. Ooh, excuse me. Is definitely the Midnight Snack. That was absolutely delicious. Very hearty, very, very heavy. Serious notes of that cacao nib. With that cheesecake thickness, we'll handle the pumpkin and the spice very delightful. That's my my first go-to right there. That's the top one. Second one would be that Kentucky pumpkin barrel, bourbon barrel that we had. Absolutely delicious. Got the notes of the pumpkin, got the hints of the bourbon in there. Oh, so good. Third, that would be the Imperial Pumpkin Ale, the one that we just had with a brandy barrel. Delicious. Absolutely scrumptious, very flavorful, very, very, very rich, very good flavor to it. It'll definitely punch your ticket for sure. After that, then it gets tricky. <laughs> uh, I personally like the pumpkin patch kittens after that, but that's just my own personal taste. As far as recommended for pumpkin beers, I might go a little lower on, 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 on the roster there. But I do enjoy that and I plan to finish that off before I go to work tonight. <laughs> I'm always working. Uh, after that, I would definitely say the um, the Pumpkin Lager by Lakefront. That would be the next one. Followed by Shipyard. Followed by Ichabod. And then we would go with, for the bottom two, the Pumpkin Springs. Because it's decent. It's got a good good taste to it. It's not super overpowering. It's good. And last but not least, the Mud Shark. Because I've had nine beers. Only one of those beers, only one of those beers had this really funky metallic taste to it. And I was trying to figure out if maybe it was the glass. Maybe it was my cavities. Maybe, maybe my hat was on too tight. But... Uh, 
Occam's razor, I gotta say. Honestly, the only time I had that metallic taste is when I was drinking that beer. So that metallic taste just kind of takes you out of it. It's got a good nose, it's got good notes before that hits. But I, I wouldn't recommend that one for sure. That would be the last one I would go to. It ain't gonna be in the back of the fridge. That would definitely be not my go-to. And so there you have it. This has been a lot of fun making these pumpkin beer videos. I'm by, again, no means an expert in beers and all that shit. So it's just kind of a nice little fun thing to do for the holiday season. And pumpkin season is pretty much over at this point. So unfortunately, if you haven't been following along, you probably ain't going to find most of these beers in the store anymore. Uh, but if you do, that will be my recommends for sure. Now, it might be a minute before we do another video because we got a lot of stuff going on around here and uh, we may or may not be having a new location soon. Who knows? But um, we'll be back to doing videos again soon. Uh, we're going to be focusing back on art and art related topics. I just kind of want to do these pumpkin beer videos for fun. But uh, in the meantime, this has been Candy Dandy. Thank you for your time. And I hope you have a good and a happy Halloween.